everybody to P here coming to show you my final thing of my my final thing my final drawing of the camper I have this last little section I'm gonna be painting I've done it in barbed wire and in a little bit I'm gonna give the tutorial on the whole state so you can see it's in its completion but I just want to final up finalize up on this little west uh, East Texas area as well as a little bit down in the in the Hill County area and some of the iconic things that are uh, historical of Texas. My name is Julie Tupi. If you like me, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you can. Give me a notification because I'm going to be painting a lot and it'll show you what I'm doing with the camper and how I'm painting it and all that's involved. Speaking of all that's involved, paint pens. These are my trusty paint pens that I've been painting most of my camper on. Paint pens. This is the jumbo kind. You'll have different uh, assortments. If you look on the sides here, they'll have like medium, fine, ultra fine, jumbo. I always have a rag. I call it my whoopsie rag. It is for uh, when I have a mistake and I need to clean it up fast so it doesn't set. Um, there will be times that you, you're going to want to have this around and it's, it's basically just a um, paint thinner on a rag. I keep it handy. All right, let's get to painting. Let me go ahead and put this handy. This is Sunday. He's my sidekick. He's my cockatoo. All right. When I'm doing this, uh, I'm going to be working basically down so my hand and my palm does not get into the paint. All right. Let's start with Caddo, Caddo Lake. A little bit of history as I'm doing this. I'm just basically touching over. I know it's kind of hard to see with my hands, but I'm just kind of outlining Caddo Lake because it is the only natural lake there is in the state of Texas. Everything else is man-made uh, in Texas. So uh, this is area has got a bunch of cypress trees. Very, very, uh, um, very, very swampy. Kind of like Louisiana is. After all, it is right next to Louisiana. We like our Louisiana Bayou friends. They like the alligators, and we say we can keep you can keep them because I'm not a big fan of alligators. All right, I'm going to come back here, C-A-D-D-O, I'm going to come back and highlight this in black to make it stand out a little bit. All right, Sunday, you helping? All right, I'm going to give a little, if you ever been to East Texas, you'll know it's the Piney Woods area, and I'm just taking my, my uh, and I'm just retracing what I did about six years ago, and I'm going to actually, sometimes when I do these, I give them a little bit more volume uh, than I did before to make them stick out. I'll put a little pine cones on these trees and make them stand out. Uh, don't be afraid of using these paint pens. They will uh, set in a few minutes. So when, I, when I'm doing these, I don't paint over them. If you'll find, I'm not gonna add pine cones to this wet green paint. The reason you don't wanna do that is because it'll make the tip of this brown green, okay? I can go over here with the tree trunks and add the tree trunks now, but I will wait on the pine cones to add to the tree so I don't get, get that. I could probably put some on the ground, which I did earlier. Because yeah. we know that pine cones always drop on the ground, also with their needles and leaves. If you pine, live in the east area, alone, you're not really fond of pine trees because they shed so much, but I love the smell of them. Okay, next historical thing, a friend of mine, a uh, sister of a friend of mine, her husband said, you need to talk about the first battle. It's actually, I think it's called the Sydney Battle, and I need to research it a little bit more, and I'll probably put that on there. Uh, there was a battle down here uh, between the moderators and the regulators on the independence of Texas, and there's a memorial uh, in East Texas in that state, and they call it the first battle. And I thought it deserved, I thought it deserved a spot on the camera. I am going to be adding several things to this when I am done. I'm going to be adding bats because we have the most migration of bats in Texas. I'm going to be adding, um, uh, gosh, I'm going to be adding lots of things. I'm going to be adding Bowie, Texas up here because Bowie, Texas has the hugest Bowie knife you've ever seen. Uh, it's from Mr. Bowie. He was, uh, if you ever watched The Alamo, one of my favorite movies that John Wayne did. You'll know that Bowie and Crockett both fought in the Alamo. And I'm just touching up here the battle, just giving it more dimension. 
a little bit more color. A lot of times when these have been on the camper for about three or four years, they lose its luster. So I come by and try to, I'm touching up my bob wire. All right, next one. Like I said, if you see on that I'm working this way is the Rusk uh, Railway. Uh, this is a railroad you can take that goes from Palestine to Rusk, Texas. And it's a fun little drive. They, they'll take, it's about an hour. Uh, at Christmas time, they, they do kind of a Polar Express thing. And as you, like I said, I, I just kind of get ingenious. This is my railroad tracks, just trying to kind of give people an idea. Because a lot of people come to my camper and they're like, what is that? <laughs> if I don't make it really noticeable, they kind of don't really know what, what it is. And then they come and ask me or they just don't ask me. Never know. Uh, all right. Now, on when you're highlighting something like this, what you want to do is you want to take the, uh, the marker first. That you're being in bold print like you would a crayon. I mean, it's, these are really simple because it's like almost like painting, painting with crayons or painting with markers. Except this is just a permanent uh, oil-based paint, and so uh, you want to make sure you don't push on this paint pen down on it unless you're trying to extract some paint. And that's when you use something like this to extract it with before you put it on your canvas because these will sometimes will get a little air in them and they'll go on you and you don't want them to go on you all right um back up here like i said i'm working this way so i don't get into my my hand doesn't get into here now i am from about 12 miles north of the t i like to say i'm what do the people say where do you live i say north of west and they go uh what and for a dyslexic it makes me funny i think that's hilarious so i'm 12 miles north of the town of west you have West, and you have way over here, West Texas. Now, West Texas is home of the Kolaches. Uh, people stop at the Czech stop. Now they stop at Slovacek's, which is a polka. Okay, picture going to Slovacek's. Okay, Slovacek's is basically, um, <laughs> I tell them it's a mini Bucky's polka style. It's a very fun place to stay. And now stay, go to and get kolaches, and you can get a bunch of get the ring bologna. That's worth getting. They have really good ring bologna and a good barbecue place there. Do not go on on Saturday or Sunday because it is like Bucky's on Saturdays and it is way way packed. Okay, the iconic thing of this is 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 this is a Czech community. Okay, Tupi, my last name is Czech, and it's in a little while here, someone my tutorials, you're going to see me be painting this Czech flag which lines the whole banner of this camper. In, I gotta make sure I don't touch that. Well, actually it's probably dry. In West Texas, if you knew, back on 4, 17, 13, which is 28 uh, years ago, we had the uh, fertilizer explosion in West and it wiped out a lot of the, of the town and it killed uh, our first responders, I want to say it killed 11 of our first responders. Uh, it, it was ammonia nitrate and just, it, it was incredible. I, it, we were home and when it exploded, which is only 12 miles from it, it felt like a, a transformer went off in the, in my house. I am painting a fireman's hat along with an ax in memory of these guys because my husband is a first responder and they do risk their lives for for us and along with the paramedics and along hey 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 i got dogs i'm a rescue girl and and uh pigs along with rescue pigs and cockatoos and all that good stuff and i can't do a video and bring my camper inside so i have to <laughs> i have to put up with them but anyway i'm memorializing this with the date with the fireman helmet and the axe and i just thought I just thought I'd be respectful and you know these guys saved a lot of lives and if it was I tell you what you want to know about God having an intervening here's a God story that explosion happened at seven o'clock if it had happened at four o'clock all the kids would have been in school and it was right next to a high school and but had a lot of loss of kids and so uh, sometimes things are bad just but just like 9-11 things could be a whole lot worse than they ever were if uh, God hadn't intervened uh, I do believe in that um, so, and I'm thankful that, that, uh, that, uh, you know, we had a limited amount of casualties. 
All right. So now let's see if let's see if these. Nope. I'll say so. It's dry. It didn't take but a couple minutes. So now I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to give a little bit of the pine cones this little little dimension. And another thing you can do uh, with painting these pins is sometimes you can get um, different colors. Let's see if I yeah different colors. So I got a Kelly and kind of a, um, I call it an olive green. Uh, I don't know if they say, uh, yeah, it looks like they have the name of these. I never pay attention. I just look by the color. I'm going to add a little of this. I'll just take this and I'm going to kind of, kind of just give it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more color in here. Sometimes I do that with black because that, that kind of defines it a little bit. And it just it just adds more detail, like in anything, a little bit more detail to the to the painting. And all right, so let's go ahead and go down here. Finish up my axe here. Give it a little bit of color here, more brown. Uh, Baylor, Baylor is in Waco. If you haven't been to Waco lately, you're in for a surprise because because Chip and Joanne kind of made it come into its own with the magnolia and all that as well as uh, the fixer upper but there's the dr pepper museum there's there is uh the texas uh rangers museum we have so much going on we have the the zoo is really great in waco like i said i'm, I'm peyton baylor and i'm going to go back over this and highlight that in a little bit if you haven't been in waco this is a way cow. If you ever wonder, what's a way cow? In Waco, they sold a bunch of these off that were around the city for fundraisers for an art um, an art festival. And so you'll sometimes see these things. They're made out of fiberglass. I got to restore a couple of them that were pretty cool. All right. Chuck Wagon Race. It's in Nietzsche, which is near Palestine. It's the only, um, it is the only Chuck Wagon Race there is in Texas. Now, if you go to, if you go to, uh, Arkansas, you'll you will find a lot of these, but this is the only one. Mr. Moody does this at his ranch. Hi highly recommend going there, especially if you have horses. They do horse races and they have rodeo, and they have uh, they do tack classes and and uh, barrel racing and the things that you will not see in any other place. And uh, he has that. And I'm gonna fix my little. I'm gonna. Go ahead and go over my chuck wagon here. I'm gonna paint completely over it because what I'm gonna have to do is let that sit and then I'll go over it with the black and kind of clean it up and make it stand out a little bit better. All right, we got A&M Giggum. Go ahead and give us a little A&M honor for all you A&M grads. And all right, A&M is a fantastic, University for the sake of agriculture. Um, they do a lot of ag work. All right, I just basically had a whoopsie in my camper. I've had a couple of these, and I had to cover over something that I did. So I just went ahead and put Texas stands for freedom and put a flag here to kind of cover up what I had to make a mistake for. So I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, I'll just go ahead. Oh. See, I made a mistake. I put brown, and that's okay. Whoops, I put brown. <laughs> I put brand over that black. And I'm gonna let it set and then I'll just go right over the black and it'll be no no big deal. One second. Moses, come here, Momo. Leave catfish alone. Leave him alone. Okay? Just give it a chill pill, baby. Alright. Um, like I said, with the A and M, I'm gonna let it set and then I'll come back over the red. Now we've got Washington on the Brazos. Let's do that real quick. Uh, you know what? It's written so good and it's it's actually alright. I'm all I'm gonna do with this right here. Is I'm going to take my fine, my fine tip that I have on here, and I'm just going to go over the house a little bit because it doesn't doesn't really have a crispness to it. So I'm just going to go right over here, and I want what I do is sometimes I reach there's like there's a little statue in front of this thing here, and I'll put some put some windows here. I mean, it's, you don't think that this kind of fine detail, but uh, it just makes the makes the picture better. And I try to like I said I try to do it as it was. Um, it's also known as the bluebell capital, and so let's go ahead and put a little bit of some a little bit more. I'm gonna let the this blue kind of that they kind of faded, so I'm gonna go ahead and 
put some more blue here, a little bit also, probably put a little yellow and a little bit more green here to make it stand out a little bit better because it's kind of faded. And um, I will go ahead and drop my brown. One moment. All right, I'm back. So I'm way up here on this camera for a second. I'm gonna give him a minute. We got a car going by. All righty. So the other thing we have is the bluebell. Nama nama bluebell. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see how I'm gonna fix this. In. I'm gonna have to actually go over what I've actually painted and then retouch that up. I'm gonna wait on that. Uh, and then I'll Sunday. Hey guys, let me do a video, please. What can I say? Catfish, leave Lenny alone. So I got 10 of these guys and they all got a personality. All right. And I think my cockatoo just pooed on me on the back of me. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to wash it up. You did, didn't you? Yeah, oh well. All right, we'll get that right there. I see how it stands up. Now with this Texas here, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of just give it, I'm gonna give it uh, just a little bit of more color just to kind of make it stand out. Kind of catches your eye. All right, since I got this out, that's done. That's how you can test it out. I'm gonna go ahead and go over A&M. And on the next, like I said, we have Bluebell. You want to go there. It used to be before the pandemic, they would, you could do a tour of this place and they'd give you a sample. But since the pandemic, I don't think they're doing that anymore, which is kind of sad. Free ice cream. You can't beat that. And Texas does have the best Bluebell ice cream. That is my opinion. And all right. Okie dokie. Last. Well, actually, nope. I got not last. I got another one I got to honor. And I gotta get a purple one out. And why do I have to get purple? Because I have to honor my Texas Christian University, TCU. And he's almost faded, he can't even see him anymore. There's my T, TCU. I wanna make it a little bit bigger here. T, C, U. T, C, U. They call it the frogs. They're home of the frogs. Now, I'm going to probably take that, and I'm going to tweak that out a little bit better, and I'll fine-tune it. And another one we got is the Dublin um, Dr. Pepper Museum in Dublin, Texas. It, the best time to go there is um, is basically in on uh, St. Patty's Day because they have a big parade there. And I will tell you this, too. The other thing I made a mistake, like I said, I learned. Dr. Pepper, you cannot put a period. I put a period. It does not go with a period, just so you know. All right, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put doctor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna add a little bit of color here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'll come back over here and just give it, be a pepper. I'm a pepper, you're a pepper. Wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? All right, <laughs> I mentioned the, uh, the natural springs earlier in a video that I had so I'm not gonna talk about them Gonzalez come and take it come and take it baby that was uh, a very iconic part of our battles along with San Jacinto um, I don't need to touch that up I actually touched that up earlier so uh, the only thing I have to highlight now is I'm gonna go back over and give um, this um, some character along with the with the, the Texas U, the Dublin, um, probably a little bit on the Brazos, and I am done with and, on, and the Caddo, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'll do a little tutorial on the history of the Gulf area as well, and that's it. So like I said, I didn't even need my whoopsie rag. Sunday didn't bother me except pooping on me. We got this area done. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.